Hey friends, today on Doodle the Travel Bug, we're going to Chicago Shed Aquarium and giving you our top five list of what makes one of the world's oldest aquariums still one of the best. So, where are we going today? We're going to the Shed Aquarium. Awesome. Yeah, one of our favorites, right guys? Yeah. Mm -hmm. We yeah. are an aquarium loving family and we've been to plenty around the U.S. Atlanta and Mystic and... Bunch of just good Boston, ones. yeah, great ones. But there's something magical about the shed. So today we're going to rank our top favorite things about the shed aquarium and what sets it apart. You ready? Yeah, I think the my number one is going to be that it's indoors. <laughs> yeah, it's it's freezing here in Chicago. <laughs> what is it? Seven, seven, seven degrees Fahrenheit. Seven degrees. All right, let's go, family. You ready? Yep, let's go. Let's go. The Shed Aquarium opened in Chicago in 1930, and its spectacular exhibits bring guests face to face with incredible sea life from around the world. Number five. Number five on our list is local celebrity Wellington, the rock hopper penguin. This curious guy lit up the internet and our hearts. When Chicago closed during the pandemic, Wellington's handlers took advantage of the shed's empty halls and took Wellington on a tour of the shed, recorded it, and put it on the interweb. The inquisitive penguin got over 4 million views and started a new series called Penguin Field Trips that took Wellington and his buddies all over Chicago to explore. What also makes Wellington so extra special is he just recently celebrated his 33rd birthday. That's way over double the life expectancy of a penguin in the wild. Number show. Next on our list are Pacific white-sided dolphins. The shed is only one of only a few aquariums in the world where you can see this type of dolphin. Pacific white-sided dolphins are extremely difficult to study in the wild. The shed provides researchers access to gain critical knowledge of this little understood species. Architecture details. The Shed Aquarium started construction in 1924. It's a white marble temple that's crowned with a trident. Inside the massive octagon, our formal columns and aquatic motifs are worked into every detail of this glorious place. The lighting, the doors, and sea life pottery tiles are all incorporated. It's a sea castle fit for Poseidon himself. Number two. Number two are the beluga whales. These tubby snow white angels are nicknamed the canaries of the sea because of their social whistles and chirps. The shed supports research benefiting the critically endangered belugas by educating and researching the impact of noise pollution on these beautiful mammals. So before getting to our number one spot, honorable mention is the gift shop. Usually on our adventures, we try to steer our kids clear away from gift shops in our attempts to encourage experiences and not things. But this is a gift shop your heart can feel good about. The Shed is a not-for-profit and it relies on our support to conserve, protect, care for, and ensure these animals' survival for the future generations. And here's a tip for any museum or attraction gift shop. If you take a look at the postcards they're selling, you get a pretty good idea of what you should not miss at that place. And our number one spot goes to the Shed's focus on rescuing hurt or orphaned animals and saving the world's most vulnerable species from extinction. Ginzu is a 14-foot green sawfish. He would normally be a rare sight in the wild. Sawfish get their tooth snout tangled in fishing nets and are critically endangered. And Nickel is an endangered green sea turtle rescued after being hit by a speedboat, damaging her shell, and losing her buoyancy. Also, an MRI at one of Chicago's top hospitals discovered that the turtle had a nickel lodged in her throat. The sea turtle was restored to health and could be found in the Caribbean reef exhibit, swimming with her backside in the air. So, did we miss anything? What's your favorite thing to see at the Shed Aquarium? Let us know in the comments. For more unique travel shows, like and subscribe to see where Doodle Bug goes next. You, look at this guy. He's like upside down or something. You're, you're upside down. Turn over. <laughs>